In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome time displacement effect with just a few simple layers. So the first thing we have is just our original layer. So it's just a whatever video clip that you want to displace in time. The next thing we're going to do is just create a new layer. So layer, new solid, and we'll press enter. And on this solid layer, I'm going to search for an effect called gradient ramp and I'll click and drag this onto our solid layer. So by default, it should just be a black to white gradient like this. You can change it from linear to radial, and you can also change the starting and ending points. So we can play around with that in a moment. The next thing we're gonna do is search for an effect called posterize, and we can add the posterize effect on this gradient. And this will allow us to create these cool steps in the gradient, which gives us that unique displacement effect later. So we've got a gradient like this so far, and we're actually just going to hide the visibility of this layer. And then on our original video clip, we're going to search for the time displacement effect. And that's in the time folder of the effects panel. And I can click and drag this onto my video layer and the next thing I'm going to do is make sure I set the time displacement layer to be that layer one, the solid that we made the, the gradient on. The other thing I want to make sure to do is to make sure it's set to effects and masks, not just source. This way it considers the gradients and the posterized effect that we did. And already you should be able to see some effect taking place based on your gradient that's slicing and displacing your clip up. So this looks pretty cool already. And the things that we can adjust are the amount of displacement time. So right now it's set to one second. You can make that lower or higher if you want a closer together time displacement or a more chaotic one. And the other thing we can do is go back to our solid layer. And even though the visibility of it is hidden, we can adjust the posterization amount, so less or more levels, and we can also adjust the gradient. So this is a, a diagonal linear gradient. We can try to see what the radial gradient might look like, and we can even try different sorts of gradients here. And here's like a circular example. That looks pretty crazy and cool, and one of the reasons this also is is creating some cool effects is because we're working on a video clip that has a solid type of background but even if you didn't uh, you can still come up with some pretty crazy looking effects even with any kind of clip you're just going to get a lot of displacement in this cool stepped way and another variation of this is if you didn't want to posterize the gradient then you could just simply use a smooth gradient and you'll get a similar but different kind of effect. So this is what it looks like with just a regular gradient. It gets a lot more distorted and glitchy feeling. But that's been a quick tutorial on how to do this cool posterized time displacement effect. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out hundreds of more tutorials, more After Effects, Photoshop, and more editing things in the playlist on my channel. My name is Justin Odisho. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.